search review the order details page under active orders. The order details page under active orders has become a central hub that contains all of the supply chain and scheduling information uh, you would need to manage an order. So if you click the blue details button right here, that loads the order details page. Up top, we have a table which contains the basic order information with the uh, line IDs, the descriptions of the units on the line, the unit price, line price, which line price is unit price times the quantity. Um, so this one right here, order 502, line one, and then quantity one of three, two of three, and three of three. And right here we have the abbreviations for the interior and exterior color, the hardware A abbreviation, interior trim, which is the jam extension, exterior trim, accessories, and any notes right here. Um, if there's any issues created from the barcode tracking, if there are, it would display as a yes right here. And you can click it and it will, it will create a pop-up which displays what the issue is. And then as you do barcode tracking and scan um, each line item for shipping, it'll switch it to a yes. Or you can also uh, control the shipping by clicking the no right here and it'll update it just as it would on a barcode scan. Um, under menu, order action, adjustments, you can create manual line items or accessory line items. So if I do a manual line item, you would simply type in the description, let's call it test item, put in the price, and then the dealer cost, and if there's tax on it or not. And I'll pull the sales tax rate from either the dealer page or the uh, quote info page, depending upon the revenue source. Then you can also do uh, accessory line items. This is commonly used by manufacturers who are also installers. So uh, this is where they can retroactively add some installation related items, typically like remove window air conditioner, take down blinds, move furniture, etc. Here's one like rotten wood replacement. And then it'll automatically populate the price from the accessories page, but you can also manually change it and then click save. Also existing line items, um, you can checkbox those and click order action remake or back order, which will create an order remake. So if I did remake right here, I could select which unit it is, or I can say complete line. Then the assembly that comes from the product setup page. So if you have different bomb assemblies like screen only, glass only, um, it'll uh, you can just do a remake of those portions of that window or line item. And then if it's a charge or no charge, so no charge, it would have a price of zero. So if I click recreate order, I go to orders, then active, excuse me, orders, then open, you'll see 502-R1 right there, quantity of two windows from that series. And then you would just move it forward through the order process like you would a regular window. For back orders, um, you would click a line item, click order action, back order, and that removes it from this order right here, then that one will stay under active orders because we do not want to reallocate the inventory because it's already been allocated when it was part of the original order. And you'll see we now have a 502-B right here. And then that will contain the original ID except with the B. And then that can be managed as a separate order. We go back into order 502 here. Um, you can also add order notes. And these are notes that are related to the overall order. And those will display on the cover page of the uh, production report PDF. So if, uh, order notes is an area for just one simple note related to the overall order. Line item notes can be inputted for each line item right here, which are line specific. Any notes that are internal notes that were inputted 
when it was a quote, we'll transfer over to the order level right here. So we'll say line notes. Um, for internal uh, messaging purposes, we added a internal message board, which is uh, order specific. So if you wanted to uh, create a message post, you would click this button right here. And we'll say test message for video. And you also have the ability to upload files. So we could upload a Word document, an image, a PDF, etc. And then you click out of it, and then it will save. So now someone can see that on July 10th, 2024, at 12 18 p.m., it records what, who the user was and the notes. And then someone could click that file right there. So, this is an area where you could upload warranty documents or maybe a bill of lading, um, anything that can help you internally. And then someone can also respond to it by clicking the comment button right here. So. Likewise, they also have the ability to add their own files. So. All right, so that's the internal message board. The next table right here is a table that lists all purchase orders that are directly associated with uh, this order. So these are typically items that you order on a just-in-time basis. So in this column, we're displaying the PO ID, who the supplier was, the PO date, the estimated receive date, the actual receive date, status, and notes. So you can see the status for this one was not submitted. If we click this ID, it'll open a new tab directly to that PO. So we'll go ahead and put in some test notes for PO training. Here you can see this is where the orders are directly assigned. Um, the purchase orders are directly assigned to an order where we're linking them. And we will click Save. And then we'll submit our purchase order here. So if I refresh this page, You can see the status changed from not submitted to submitted, and now we have notes right there. And if you click the notes, uh, you can also edit them. So the notes are editable um, within the order details page. And so then if I go to purchase orders, here's that PO, if I click I assign an estimated date, and then I can also say it's been confirmed right there. If I re refresh this page, you can see the status changed to confirmed and the estimated date has been updated. So multiple POs can be listed here. So typically, as I mentioned, it's used on just-in-time items like glass, screens, specialty hardware, etc. Right here is a Gantt chart which shows the production schedule times. So this is pulling data from the production schedule right here. So if I load that up, I'll go to yesterday because that's when this order was scheduled. You can see all the production times right here. So if I move this time down to there, you can see glass is currently scheduled for 8 a.m., but once I click save, and then I will refresh this page right here, you can see glass moved over to 11.30 a.m. So uh, this is pulling in data from the production schedule. So in order for this to populate, you have to utilize the production schedule calendar is the barcode tracker right here. This is showing all tasks that must be performed um, to produce the order. So uh, any task that is read means the task has not been started. Then if there are start and complete tasks, if it's yellow, that means the task has been started but not completed. 
and then green means the task has been completed. You have the ability to uh, click on the green one and it'll tell you what the task was, what the start date was, start time, and who the user was that started it, and then the same information for who ended it. This blue button right here is a revert button and it will revert that task from being completed right there. Also right here, if there were issues, you would have the ability to uh, click the issue to see what it is and then also change the status of the issue. As tasks are completed uh, from the barcode scanning site, on the active orders page, the percent of completion is changing. So when I reverted that task, the percentage of completion decreased. So the purpose of the revert button is uh, so that if someone accidentally scans something, you have the ability to undo it. Then over here, we're displaying this is a line task, and then these are the individual units. And these IDs that you see right here are the same IDs that make up the barcode data stream. The last thing on the orders detail page is the bill of materials material summary. This is displaying all materials that are used to produce this entire order. So here we have which bomb section it was in, who the supplier was, a description of the item, the part number, inventory type, the location, the quantity you have on hand, the quantity required, and then the unit of measurement. Then each of these columns has a sort arrow so you can sort by different data values. And then also, um, each of the item description and the part number are hyperlinks to that inventory item, which will open up uh, in a new tab that inventory item. So you can check on inventory rules to see what's on hand, on order, allocated, the balance, the alert buffer, your average daily usage, etc. So this training video concludes uh, the capabilities of the order details page. Uh, we feel like it is an excellent central hub for every piece of information you need to manage the order. Um, and if there are any questions, feel free to give us a call.